Hey guys, it's Marissa. So in today's video, it's a special video because I finally received my Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay palette. Now I've been wanting this ever since she announced it because I'm such a big fan of Nikki. Nikki honestly was one of the very first makeup influencers that I ever watched once I started watching on YouTube. So this was just something that I had to get my hands on just because I really do enjoy her and all of her different types of, you know, makeup styles and just who she is as a person. Like I just really love her and her personality. She's always just really fun and bubbly and just super positive. Now this palette, um, obviously the shades, like how she said, it's nothing like new. Like people can easily recreate the shades from other palettes. But whenever I got into the palette and swatching it, I really do love the formula of all of these. Now I will have separate clips a little bit after this just of my opinions and thoughts of how it swatches on my hand. The shades that I used today in the video, they were really super pretty and creamy and I did not need a lot of it at all. Like the only one that I needed a lot of was this one but really just to define my crease, my cut crease. But that's not on the palette, that's just the way I wanted to do it. But everything, like you did not need a lot of any of the shades at all. You could just tap on it twice and literally you would have so much pigment to use on your eyelid. And I just think that all of these colors are really pretty. The only criticism that I would have is that I think a lot of people were thrown off by this side of the palette, the dark side. And But if you do close it, it is darker than the pink side. But it's more like neutral colors. So I think what she was trying to do is make the dark side kind of more of like a neutral shade or neutral tones. But what I would have put instead is maybe some blacks or grays just because this is like a more grungier side, like a more darker side. But I still really like it. Like I still really like the different tones of neutrals and stuff and I will use them because they are really pretty transition shades. And I also did use these two shades here for my eyebrows. And then I also used that darker shade up here as a bronzer and then I used this shade here as a blush and they worked really beautiful like I really love how that turned out and I also used this shade right here as an all over highlight so you can honestly use this as almost like a face palette too like she didn't do that in the tutorial but I wanted to add that myself just to see how it works because sometimes if I'm too lazy to grab a bunch of products I sometimes try to go for palettes that kind of have an all-in-one thing so this palette definitely has that and I really like how she has like a little thing in the back too that explains who she is and how excited she was to work on this and she gave you a card to or anyone who received this you should have received a card too and it says the same thing as it does on the back of the palette and it just says hello guys it's me Nikki hello which is her famous signature intro and she just put I want you to make the most out of these gorgeous shades so I want to show you how to master their full potential some of the formulas work best when applied with the shadow brush to build them up while others work better to be applied with fingers. Check out the symbols on the other side to see which and have fun creating. So this side right here, it tells you which ones work best with either brushes or fingers. And most of them are with brushes, but some of them are with both. So I really like that and I think that's really handy. Most of the shimmer ones would work best with your fingers, obviously. And I am wrong. The back of the palette does say something a little bit different. And she just put, I am beyond excited for you to finally see this, my palette in collaboration with Beauty. Beauty Bay. I am so grateful for this opportunity and this time we're doing it right for everybody. This palette truly showcases my life and personality. You guys know that I'm all about bright and unique makeup looks, but this palette always shows a different darker side of me. I can't wait to see the looks that you'll create to dark and mysterious to bold and uniquely you. This palette is my safe place, my temple, and this never would have happened with the support of my glow babies. I love you. So I really like how this is and that kind of explains a little bit more what this is right here because I was wondering what this white temple was but she literally just said it kind of just represents the makeup community or the makeup world and how that's kind of like her safe place and how she's just able to kind of create things on her own and just be herself as much as possible so there is a lot of symbolism and meaning behind this palette too just in the packaging itself which I think is really cool and super clever too and I like how the sides kind of just tell you Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay. It kind of looks like a book if you were to put this on a bookshelf this way, but it's still really super cute. And I did get the pop socket too for the dark side of it. And it just kind of has like a skull hand flipping you off, but it's still really cute. And this is honestly kind of perfect for Halloween. In some of the pictures, I didn't realize it, but the actual palette is very glittery. And I don't think the camera really catches it on camera either, but I know um, for the actual 
box it is pretty glittery and I think that is really pretty because it kind of is cool how it's like a little keyhole and you're kind of opening it into the beauty world. I think that's what she's kind of doing and it says the same thing on the back of the box as it does on the palette and I just think that this is a very unique design. I really like how this looks and especially with the box that it came in because the box was very unique too and everyone who ordered it got like a really unique looking box and it just says the same thing with their intro and how it says you want to gram this so I just think that's really cute too how they really took their time with the packaging because this almost looks like PR packaging a little bit so that is really nice and fancy how they did that to go out of their way because not all beauty brands whenever they promote something new do that with the packaging whenever they ship things out so i really do love this palette and i honestly don't have any complaints with it but now that you just heard my overall thoughts kind of like in the intro of this here is the next clip with the shades and how i just swatched everything on my arm but if you want to see me actually following nikki's tutorial on the beauty bay channel then you can just skip to this right here and i'll just see you guys there So I'm first going to be swatching the bright side of the palette first and I'm just going to be going three at a time. So the first ones that I'm swatching is Redemption, Blend and Snap, and Ivy. Then it's Roxy Catan, Vla, and Mikai, which is named after her brother who passed away. And then there's Plot Twist, Aura, Basic Truth or Basic Trut, Pride, Zomer, and Mama Tutorials, which is this really pretty shimmery blue color. Then on the dark side or the more neutral side of the palette, it's Slasher, 5AM, Mila, which is named after her dog, Underground, All In, You, and Amsterdam, and Mr. Tutorials. Amsterdam is a really pretty color just because of how bright and bold the blue is. And then Mr. Tutorials is named after her husband or her fiance, obviously, and that is just the color of his eyes where it's like a easily greenish brown color and I just think that's really cool how she kind of incorporated a lot of personal things in her life in the shades. These also rubbed off not very easily, like you definitely need makeup remover wipes to get these off, which is good, which means that they're not super cheap and they won't just like, you know, the pigment won't go away throughout the day. You would definitely need some sort of makeup remover or micellar water just to get this off. But now let's just go ahead by starting the tutorial. The first thing we're gonna do as always is primer eyelids to make sure that all the colors pop, the shadows have something to stick onto and to make sure that this masterpiece will last all day long. So the first thing that Nikki always does is prime her eyelids, which is what I do too. Now she uses the P. Louise primer base and I don't have that. I usually just use like the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer as always in most of my videos and this is in the shade Fair Neutral. So I'm just going to be using this instead and just putting it on my eye and just blending it with my finger. Now I am putting a little bit more on than usual just because she really does like to put on a lot of like really super bright pigments and stuff and obviously we're using her eyeshadow palette and it's going to be a little bit more of a bold and dramatic look so I'm just making sure that I have more than enough of a base so that the eyeshadows can really stick on there super easily. We're going to take Blend and Snap and Zomer and we're going to buff the two together to create our own unique shade. So for the crease we're going to be taking the two shades Blend and Snap and Zomer and they're like really pretty pink shades. The Blend and Snap is kind of more of like a hot pink shade and the Zomer is more of like a neutral peachy shade. So she's just going to blend those two together and kind of add it to like right here to like the inner corner of her eye. Kind of where like your nose would kind of connect to that if that makes sense. And then she drags it above her crease a little bit too and then flicks it outwards. So then it creates more of like a smoky eye effect and it's just more dramatic. So I'm just going to take those two, like how she said, and just mix them together. And I'm taking a Morphe M433 brush, and I'm just going to be doing those exact same steps as her and just really taking my time blending everything. And the more that I'm blending this out, I didn't even put that much product on the brush. And this is very easy to blend out, like it's super pigmented. And I'm really liking how this formula is so far. Once we have that beautiful mixture of a color in the crease, it is time to cut the lid. Now the trick to cutting the lid when you have hooded eyes is to look straight forward into a mirror and go above your natural crease. And to set that lid, we're going to take this color right here called Roxy Catan. 
So now we're gonna cut the crease and I'm just gonna be using the same concealer that I did before as the base, which is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Now I'm just gonna be cutting my crease using this and an e.l.f. concealer brush just so it can be as precise as possible. It looks like she's just doing a half cut crease, so I'm just gonna be ending the crease right here and just kind of blending out the edges with my finger. Now I'm just gonna do this one eye at a time just so it doesn't have any creasing involved, but I'm going to be setting it with the same shade as her, which is in the shade Roxy Catan afterwards using my finger and a little bit of an e.l.f. precision brush. And that's like a really pretty shimmery pink color. I really like how this looks on your eyelid. It kind of reminds me of this one Juvia's Place palette that I have, and the shade is like very similar, but that Juvia's Place palette shade does not have a name to it. None of the shades do, they just go by like the numbers, but I'll kind of just put like that palette right here if you're interested, but this shade literally swatches like almost the exact same and I, it's like one of my favorite shades from the palette. <laughs> now I do want to make the edges a little bit sharper like hers where it's a little bit more cleaner and you can definitely tell it's more of a cut crease because right now the edges are a little bit too soft. So I'm also going to be taking the NYX glitter primer. Now this never fails me whenever it comes to doing any kind of cut crease, especially for the edges. I'm going to really just try to clean those edges up using that same e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm just going to take this glitter primer and put it on top or around the edges of where I already placed some of the eyeshadow and just place like another layer on top of it. I'm not gonna do it all over the lid. I'm gonna mainly focus on the outer parts. All right, let's get smoky up in Temple Tutorials. I'm gonna go into one of my favorite colors of this palette, Slasher. And first with a flat brush, I'm gonna determine where I want that shape to go. And then you wanna pick up that color and literally start stamping it onto the outer portion of the lid and the crease. So now she's doing like the smoky eye part of the whole look. So she's taking the shade Slasher and kind of stamping it with a flat brush. I'm gonna be taking a smudging brush by It Cosmetics for Ulta and I'm just gonna be dipping it into there first and then when she buffs it out, I'm gonna be using that same brush as before which is the Morphe M433 brush. Now I'm always a little bit bad at doing this part for me personally, that's why I always do eyeshadow first because then if there is any fallout, if I place too much eyeshadow, I always just try to clean that up using a makeup wipe and that just really helps me personally. You can do it whatever way you want, you can just do foundation first and then your eyeshadow like how Nikki does, but for me personally, this just works the best. Now as I am stamping this on, this is a really pretty color, but for some reason in the video, like for the tutorial, Nikki's eyeshadow does look a little bit darker, like I thought that she was wearing a little bit of black eyeshadow on the sides or on the corners of her eye but it's supposed to be this color but I just don't feel like it's as dark as what it seems like in the video but it still is really pretty it just looks a little bit off to me and like how I said before we get into any of the other steps I am gonna clean that up just because I'm a little bit messy whenever it comes to my eyeshadows so I'm just gonna really sharpen and define those edges a little bit more. I think this also helps too because if you try to be a little bit too defined with some of your um, eye looks if you make more than enough space, you can really easily like cut the edges out so then you can make sure that they're more than enough even because then if you try to do one side like completely perfect and then do the other side, the other side might be a little bit slanted if that makes sense. That's how it is for me. I don't know if anyone else is like this. I'm not a makeup expert really. I just try to do it for fun but this is the way that I really get a lot of help out of and you can definitely just see a difference like how much better and more lifted that looks. Now for that perfect touch, we're gonna add a touch of Mikai, and because it's such a pure, bright, crazy pigmented red, we only need the tiniest bit on our brush, and we're just gonna blend this in between Slasher and Roxy Catan, so right here, it's gonna act as our gradient. So this part was not recording, so I do really apologize for that, but the next thing was is that I took the shade Mikai and I just placed it in between those dark purple shades and the cut crease color and I used that red color as the transition shade and what I was saying is that this is a very pretty matte red color. It was super pigmented, really easy to blend. It only took like two taps and I was able to just get this really nice pretty red color in there and it's a very true red color there is no like undertones in it it's a very pretty matte red and i really do love this eyeshadow so far like all the formulas and everything i'm not having a problem with 
and they're blending out really pretty. Taking a tiny bit more of Roxy Catan, I'm just gonna glide it over what we just created. She's taking a little bit of that Roxy Catan color again and just kind of placing it over everything to make it super shimmery and pretty. So I'm gonna do this very lightly too using a Morphe M429 brush. And I am gonna take a little bit of Zomer again and just kind of place it to the inner corners of my eye because I kind of forgot to place it there a little bit more. It just, it seems like there's a little bit of an empty space here, which is my fault. So I'm just gonna do that really fast. On the inner corner, it's time for Ivy. Literally the most stunning jewel-like, diamond-like white shadow. So now she's going in with the inner corner and lower lash line. And like how I said, she already has like a base and everything on her face, like for foundation and stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my own skin routine, like how I normally would do whenever I'm wearing makeup. And I'll be right back in a bit, but I'm just gonna do that really fast. And then we'll go back on with the eyeshadow tutorial. So I also did the same thing with the inner corner, but I also applied that shade Ivy to my inner corner and brow bone highlight. And I used that using an e.l.f. precision brush. And then afterwards, I also took that shade Ivy and with an e.l.f. blending brush, I just kind of blended my cheekbones and just like the highest points of my face and also just my nose and everything and just really making everything a lot more, just more dramatic. And I just really love the way that this looks as a highlighter. The shade is kind of like a pressed glitter almost. It's kind of like a putty kind of feeling. It's very thick. And I just really love how this looks, especially on the skin. So I really love how this turned out so far. After extending the inner corner using some liquid liner, it is now time to go back in with Slasher. And Slasher is going on the outer corner of the lower lash line, connecting to the top portion here. Make that nice and clean. Then I'm taking basic Trut, and that is going on the remainder of the lower lash line. Now she extended her inner corner with some eyeliner, but I'm not really good at at doing eyeliner in the inner corners of my eyes. I never have been and I just think it looks really weird on me. So I am gonna put on eyeliner, but I'm not gonna extend it outwards as much as she did with like the cat eye kind of thing. And the liquid eyeliner I'm gonna be using is the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner in the shade Jet Black. Okay, so I did try extending it a little bit, but this is honestly as far as I'm gonna go because I'm really scared I'm gonna mess it up. But it didn't turn out too bad. It's a very small extension of the inner corner, but it doesn't look too bad. So then what she's doing next is just taking that shade Slasher and extending it down here, which I did already. And then afterwards, she took the shade Basic Trot and just kind of blended it in between Slasher and the inner corner shade. So then it still stays pulled up and just kind of really helps snatch your face a little bit better, which I did, and I used all of that using the e.l.f. precision brush. From here, you can apply your favorite lashes, bronzer, lipstick, all the good stuff, and your look will be complete. And I think this is the perfect mixture of the happy side of the palette as well as the darker side of the palette. So now to finish off the overall look, I'm going to be adding some of this matte liquid lipstick. And this is the Ulta Matte Liquid Lipstick that's in the shade Nude Pink. And I'm just going to be applying that. And then I'm going to be applying a pair of false lashes. So I'm just going to do that real fast. And then that should be the completed look. Then I'm going to be applying some mascara to my lower lashes. And then that is the completed look. So I really like how this turned out. I think it is pretty similar to Nikki's, but like how I said, I feel like her purple that she's using, it's the same one that I'm using in the palette, but it looks darker in the video. I don't know why. It looks like she has some like black eyeshadow secretly, like on the sides, and maybe she does, but um, I still really like how this turned out, especially with the false lashes, because I don't really wear false lashes that often. But this is really super pretty, and I really loved how this turned out. If you're interested to see more videos from me in the future, you can always subscribe down below. I upload on every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and sometimes on Wednesdays as well at the same time at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can always hit the notification bell so you can get notified for every single time that I upload. And if you have any other reviews or types of makeup looks that you want me to do specifically, you can always comment down below. I really like hearing you guys' feedback and just reading all the positive comments. And I'll just see you guys next time. Bye!